Good morning guys, welcome to Hong Kong. We just flew in from Sydney yesterday and we're just set up in a coffee shop this morning. Uh, we're going to take you through our day. Aussie coffee, that's the secret. I got the recommendation from a friend of mine who's um, living here at the moment, so that's the key. You've got to see who's in, put, the, put it out, who's in town and get the recommendations from them. Eggs or eggs? It's the one food you can eat day in, day out your entire life and not get so go. Today what we're going to do is, um, we're going to work here for a few hours, Jordan has a meeting a bit later. Um, and we're going to go train, show you through our Airbnb and go and explore the city this afternoon. Can you explain that? Like, well, the, department, the Department of Sanitation in the US would have this place shut down in a second. Like, so it, does that have the pig's name on it? Is that what that is? Like, like, is that his name? Like, this was once fluffy, now here's his head. That's strange. Right next to the cigarette, the ashtray. <laughs> so we're just going to take you into our Airbnb up here. <laughs> I had so many people message us, like, I can't believe you found that big of a place in Hong Kong. Yeah. Really? I was assuming everything would be so small. Ah. Nice thing is there's like video documentation that the door handle here is already broken. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Well, like we had that Airbnb in Miami where they tried to accuse us of breaking the toilet seat. It's like, what are we, fucking Aerosmith? Why would I break a toilet seat? Welcome to a humble abode. <sighs> nice kitchen here. Somewhere to eat. Lounge couch. Got a nice mirror there. <laughs> Wave. Uh, come on through to the bedroom if I can find the light switch. Nope, not there. Do you know where it is? Yeah. Or does it not have? No, it's just a bedroom. There we go. Come on through, we've got our uh, closet set up already with our shoe collection there. John's on that side, I'm on the right. I've got my fancy red ones on today. I've got Jordan a pair as well for Christmas, so we're gonna be matching soon. Come on, here's the bathroom, which I'm sure you'd love to see. If I can find the light switch again. We've got a rain shower, it's great. The light even goes on when you turn it on. How cool is that? <laughs> Mine? Um, I probably get anywhere between 35 to 42. Um, and that's to like maintain. And I kind of walk around at like 120 kilos. Um, and that's like not minimal effort, but like, I'm not like force feeding myself. That's kind of just like, all right, if I'm not hungry throughout the day. It's usually anywhere between 35, which is a big swing. Um, some days you get more, some days you get less, um, but it's kind of more like play the long game. Like in the run of a week, I probably get the same cumulative calorie intake. Um, but yeah, most people think I eat a lot more than I do. Like, I think if you try and get like higher quality food, you don't have to eat as much of it because it's like, it's not really how much you eat, it's how much you digest. And a lot of people miss that. So they just go and buy like pounds and pounds of like kind of lower grade chicken or beef and they just slam it back. And I was guilty of this. When I remember going through grad school, I would eat like you know, three pounds, a kilo and a half-ish of chicken like every day. And I was lighter than I am now. And then it's like, oh, okay, just buy stuff that your body can actually process and not have to like worry about 
a bunch of like antibiotics and hormones and all that shit and then you end up like maintaining a lot a lot heavier body weight which is good for me and not really the goal for most people i probably do about 1800 but i'm not dieting or anything like that that's just sort of like you know lifestyle like i'm i'm not gonna you know, go super low calorie to try and be shredded like while we're traveling and working and like needing to train and all that. Like we're already tired, our body's already under stress. So um, it's just sort of like a maintenance lifestyle sort of around that-ish. Like I'm not gonna deprive myself of good food while I'm traveling as well. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna go in here. Yeah. Gonna go grab some things. Let's see how different it is to what we're used to. Oh, nice fresh fruit, that's good. Oh, score. Three hundred grams. Got some mints. Some mints, also. Yum! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's gonna be a big no for me. Oh yeah, here we go. Out of your comfort zone. Jesus Got the fresh stuff. Not my first fucking rodeo. That's All good. Right, mitts. What else do we need? Oh, those ones. These and this. Melticus. We got. They gotta have this. Something when you, you're in a place and you don't know the language, you just assume that when anyone's laughing, they're just laughing at you. So I was just pretty sure like those old ladies at the counter were just sitting there laughing. I feel like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar here. I've never felt tall in where I've been. Alright guys, so a lot of people complain of poor ankle mobility and sore knees and squatting. And the main reason they chalk it up to is they never train their calves because they don't have the right equipment. So I'm gonna show you through or walk you through like a real quick like donkey calf variation that you can do literally anywhere. So we've got a dumbbell, we got a dip belt, and we're just gonna rig it up to kind of train donkey calf raises. So we'll walk you through it after. So biggest thing on the eccentric, you wanna like throw your hips back and up. Like think of like doing an RDL, right? Trying to add length to that posterior chain. So almost like you're trying to extend your knees, have your knees almost straight at the end of the eccentric, then come up and keep like a parallel chain at the end of the concentric. Again, you shouldn't be neglecting training calves because they don't have like a, a main purpose in strength movements. They support the knee and they give you range of motion through the ankle, which is usually most people's rate limited to actually training for strength anyway. tough to get kind of hit macros here. Well, apparently chicken rice is chicken and rice. Like an ounce of chicken is three cups of rice, so protein's been a bit scarce. Um, don't usually like supplementation, but we found a stuff to help right across the street. We were running, grabbing two pounds, 
hopefully that'll last us through when we get back to Australia. Crazy. So here we are at the night market. This will be our last stop for the day here in Hong Kong before we go to bed. And then next week, where are we going? Singapore next week. I don't think they have this in Singapore. So thanks for joining us here in Hong Kong, guys. Um, we hope you'll keep following our journey next week in Singapore. <laughs>